Xalophone here with Mario, and it's time for another Duel of the Gods. However, Mario has a distinct advantage because he has the super overpowered new Horus archetype backing up the Winged Dragon of Ra, who is already sitting at the strongest position. Um, at least for Obelisk an is jump. challenging, yeah. Obelisk has tricks up his sleeve, so I might have. Oh, and I gotta go first. Yikes. Well, <laughs> I got a couple things to play. Uh, we'll start with a little bit of extravagance action, I think. Banish six cards. Because who cares about my extra deck? Oh my god, there's two god slimes out of the way. Ooh, that's okay. We this only need one. Is a weird hand, but oddly enough, it works. Like, okay. I'm seeing what I'm able to do with it. So, what do I do? I can use this and just get another one of these, which is kind of irrelevant at this point. Um, but I think just putting out more onto my field is kind of the play. I do not have Obelisk yet. That is the weakness of this deck. You need to get the Obelisk in the first place. Because um, I can, in theory, put five monsters on the field this turn. Um, but that's that. I'll have to end turn. Nothing strong. And yeah, we'll just run it right there. All right, let me see. Okay, so oddly enough, you put out the perfect number for me. Ah, yeah, do it. Fair enough. Then I also activate my trade in. Discarding my happy Vanguard of Horus, I can draw two new cards. Okay. Ooh, I don't have that, uh, any level 10 XZ monsters in here. That's a little disappointing. I would have had moves. Okay. Jeez, double trade ins. Are you serious? It's huge. Yeah. I'm not liking my odds here. You got Sphere Moded off the bat. He's already setting up the Horus graveyard. Of course, we have to wait for the, uh, you know, the right spells and traps to be in action. Oh, he's going to force a, uh, a Monster Reborn. Okay. No, yeah, because. Let me see. If you control... Oh, that's right. Wait, no. You can special summon. You can only use each effect once per turn. Send two cards from your hand to the graveyard. Oh, that's right. He needs to be in the hand for that. Right. Where I can send him away. Where I can send him away and get the spell card I need. Gotcha. Yeah. That's I, should not have I should not have tra uh, traded him away. Yeah. Uh, well, traded. now you know. But yeah. I have also 3k monster, so... Sure. It is just a, a sphere, sphere mode out here, so... Yeah. I know oh. it's not easy for you to get rid of it, so... No, I was actually hoping I have a level 10 XE in here, since I have so many level 10s in the deck, but I don't. Yeah, I just don't at all. Which, you know, that's on me. Um, I still don't have a great play here, so we're just gonna set another card. And unfortunately, you're gonna get a raw. Actually, I can do a little something. It's not good, but it's an. Oh. <laughs> I guess I might as well. Metal Reflex Slime, come on out. Uh, maybe significantly jump in the gun right here, but we'll just put this out to start limiting your stuff a little bit. Oh, I could have, uh. Well, I still can. So we're just gonna go here, attack your boy. I don't get destroyed by battle. And now, do we just do something boring? Maybe. Um, can I just do this? Oh, I do have an answer. Never mind. Oh, oh Mirage. Because it's a Link one. Oh my. Normal summon monster. No. You tributed. It was tributed. Yep. <laughs> All right, and yeah, we're good to go there. Um. I'm just gonna chill. All right, no way you can a raw for me then. Yeah, I ain't giving them to you for free. Come on, you gotta work for him. But it was perfect though. It was good. It was a good open. You really just need to get your uh, your Horus cards though. If you get Horus and then that one card that searches your raw, you're good to go. <laughs> Extra deck, four cards. Up, oh, well, it's right there. Uh, two of uh, two options. You're good to go. Yep. And that, yeah, I may have sent him to the graveyard, but we know he's coming right back. So, yeah, simple as that. Uh, do I just activate all Mirage now? I may as well. 
just to get him off the field. So, make them immune to battle destruction? And uh, target destruction. Okay. Well, discard one card. To bring out... Gwent's... Uh, send oh that, yeah. gosh! That's a tough one! Kebusenuf? Is that what we're looking at? Kebusenuf? Oh man. I was so confused, my mind went to Queef for some reason. Yeah, I mean, there's no there's no you, so it's so it's Kebus, Kebusenuf. Yo, we thought Nordics were rough, the Egyptian words, they're, they're crazy too. All right. To be fair, if anyone's from, uh, if anyone from Egypt is actually watching, it's like, this is probably simple for you guys, but it's for an Amer for English, it's hard. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's the only real tricky one. Imseti and uh, Duamatef make a lot of sense. And, and happy. It's probably not happy, but happy. Happy is more fun. Okay. I mean, I... the good thing about the uh, Egyptian ones is it's not as crazy with the letter differences. Alright. So doing that... Um... Yeah. So your monster is immune to all kinds of destruction, right? Yes. You can still damage my life points right now, but he's staying. Right. Okay. So if you want to set yourself up for later success, it's not a bad idea. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, wait. That's right. I can think I can just send him. Ah! I forgot that was no, a thing. With the I forgot that was a thing, too. I, uh, I pulled Harpy's Feather Duster as well. <laughs> oh no. Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 6. Oh no. Oh, but I think I only deal half damage for the rest of the turn though. Okay. That's oh, we know that was the effect of the jar card actually, I forgot. Yeah, Fox true. Card. And one more attack. No, I, uh, the cost of doing that was giving up my attack, so. But I had a guardian slime that I was waiting to pull the trigger on. Oh no! And he has 4800 attack, you can just snake the wind now! <laughs> Feather Duster, get it out of here! <laughs> Activate the effect of happy. Uh, so I can return to the deck. Yep. Let's put back... You, ooh, and... My monster reborn. Sure. Okay, target two cards that are banished on your gear. Add both to the hand? Yes. Alright, we special summon. By revealing my guardian slime. A little angel. Angel 01. Yep. Or is this just 01? Angel 01 or Angel 01? Uh, it is an O. Interesting enough. Yeah. Um. Pshh. We don't have what it takes to get anything further here. Um, when this card is special summon, you contribute. Yeah, that's not going to do nothing. Uh, well, I think I lose. Safe to say. Yeah, I don't got anything crazy enough. Because I can't really bring anything else out to co link. It's not like I got anything anyway, so we'll just bring this out for the funsies. Oh, he does get to come back. Good for him. Okay. Not that it matters a ton now, but we will then go for... Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have another Guardian Slime. <laughs> or not another uh, God Slime, because they were all banished. This duel just didn't go for me. All right. There you go. Security Dragon in my turn. <laughs> well... Okay, well, Millennium Revelation. <laughs> Great. Did not even draw the God card. <laughs> yeah, next duel, you know. Yeah, I still don't like Millennium Re Revelation. I, I don't I would not put that in a mixed deck. No, but I'm. It, this is a still testing phase. That's why. Yeah. Like I don't even think I run it in my regular raw deck. But well, what do you think about this mix so far, though? Horus is good. Yeah. Um, Sphere is good. Second? Yeah. Uh, I'll take second this time. See how it goes. All right. Lovely. 
Okay. I drew Obelisk. So now there's hope if I can get the rest of the cards moving. But what uh, did you draw? Potential. But, knowing what you run... I guess what that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the trigger on this now. Activate. Sending away that card. So that I can send away my happy. Oh man, he's loading up already. Send away my instinct. You can chill. You, you don't have to. To send away the move. <sighs> hi, hi, I'm Seti. How you doing? Oh, oh, hey, Duomitev. How you doing? Welcome. Happy. Good to see you, buddy. Glad we could all show up. Oh, <laughs> Kebusenev. Welcome. This is either really good or really bad for me. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're sure all right about that one. If I can summon anything with 1,200 or more, I win. Or I missed, or I missed, I misclicked. I meant to put a, send that one away instead of happy. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, fortunately for you, uh, yeah, you did kind of play that pretty well because I have the Breaking Ruin guide in my hand to ready to play. Uh, so, um... If I tribute two or more monsters at the same time, I'm gonna have to use it. Um, but that's all good. We have Soul Energy Max. That's fun. Um, we don't have enough to really get everything going here. We can special summon though, and I think still win the game. Let's try it. So I have Obelisk in my hand, as I said. We're gonna special summon this boy. We're then going to Breaking Ruin God. We're going to summon Obelisk. Uh, oh, never mind. I thought that was the uh, exchanging souls or whatever that uh, gets rid of all your goodness. Alright, so... Destroy all monsters, but then I cannot attack, but... It still sounds fun. Now, obviously I could attack into Horus, but that was a mistake on your end. So I just want... I'm gonna try to do another play to get around it. We're going to then use my Ra's Disciple. I know Blasphemous, right? They're supposed to be on your side. And Ra's Disciples you traitors! is the one who's going to uh, be the end of you. So I will tribute. Um, wait, I can't tribute Ra's Disciple? Oh, never mind. Oh, that's right. Ra's Disciple. You cannot tribute summon except for the tribute summon of a god card, remember? Uh, yeah. Oh my. So we have Break and Ruin God too. And I inflict damage. <laughs> so it worked! It was just sloppier than I intended. But yes, of course, Rouser, just for. Yeah. I should have waited until next turn to bring out the. Yeah, the it was just a, definitely came down to that. Uh, shall I go first? Uh, yeah. Oh, gross. I will play Pot of Desires. We have banished. Nothing important. Um, Imagine well, all three obelisks. Yeah, right. There's good cards in there, but you've 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 done that in your in your dinosaur actually, you, where you got rid of all your ultimate conductors. With yeah, because I you know I don't run a dinosaur deck with more than two. Okay, so this I can banish and get myself an obelisk, which is kind of great. Um, do I just add it to my hand? Uh, yes. So we'll do that. Lovely. We'll set some cards. We'll set all the cards, and then my turn. This could get ugly. For you. No, for you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you do have objectively the better deck just because it has Horus in it. But let's see if Obelisk can pull it out. We were able to snake a win just because Ra was the downfall of you in all honesty. Because you had to spend your life points. Thank you, the two card draw. Yikes. Sorry, right, you only have three cards in your graveyard. It's not like they're going to send more. My good golly goodness. Alright, bring them all out. The whole party's here. Mm-hmm. I can see why people say this this deck is just just like raw. Oh, that's why they said it. So people said that this is just raw disciples, but what they should have been. Yeah, I see it. They bring each other out, but they actually all benefit from each other. Rather than just being serving one purpose. And there's enough of them to 
to basically say, oh, you want to bring out a god card? For the masters. And they come right back, actually. Yeah, and they're all special summon, too, so you still have that normal summon to bring out Ra. Mm-hmm. This is actually... Even if you don't one... get your ancient chant. Which is disappointing that you haven't pulled ancient chant yet. Yeah, I, it's not. I, I have put it in a deck. Yeah, that better be on three copies. <laughs> it is. Okay. No, what... I had it and I messed up. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I might be able to live, but uh, I, 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 I goofed. Uh, so now we're forced into putting Guardian Slime out, but it will not be able to survive because it can die if you attack it twice. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> I had uh, Soul Crossing and I didn't use it because it can only be used in main oh. phase, and I forgot. Yeah, I would have, I would have been able to wipe out your field here. Obviously, you can bring them back, but you know, one more, yeah. one more, just since the last two were super quick. And also because the footage is only sixteen minutes. Yeah, we don't want to, you know, starve the audience here. Right, okay. What do, you, what do you got? Oh, I finally drew it. Ancient Chant. Okay. And then I'll play my Pot of Prosperity. Six. Are you already able to summon him? Or did you just play it preemptively? Preemptively. <laughs> okay. Usually you want to play Ancient Chant the turn you plan on summoning Rob because it gives you that extra summon on the turn. Yeah, messed up on that. Hey, you might still get there. I just wanted to get the Raw to the hand though, to be honest. Yeah, that's good. And you can still use its secondary effect in the graveyard, so. Yeah. Oh, that's different. Okay. What? You didn't have anything to trade in. That's wild. Okay. Well, no, it's the pot card, remember? Oh, yeah, you can't add anymore. There you go. Um, well, we have Mound of the Bound. Uh, you have a Ra in your hand, and I don't have an Obelisk in my hand. I'm not going to play Mound of the Bound. <laughs> that's, a, that's a quick and easy assessment. I think what I will do is we'll just Reactor Slime. Just get that going. I don't have anything crazy. So we're just going to get this, get some pieces out. If you destroy them all, well, they're a wall. If you don't destroy them all, they're material. So out they come. And turn. Nothing fancy here. Okay. So, no obelisk, at least. Yeah, I didn't draw him. Don't have the ability to search him right now. Thank so. you, deck. Oh, boy. First off, gonna activate my trading. Sending away to two. Sending that away to draw two new cards. What do you mean? You have to say the name of the card you sent away, Mario. You can't just say you sent just, that away. I almost want to just call him Queef. <laughs> it does start with a Q and end with an F. And there's two E's in there. <laughs> oh no, he has it again! I not. Silo, I drew not one but two, so even if you find a way to get rid of it. <laughs> Honestly, I like it though, because this like makes. Like, you could just pack a god card in this deck and have a good time with it. Honestly, I, I was thinking you could run all three, Silo. You can? I think you should run Obelisk rather than Ra in this deck though. Because the one time you lost, it was because you cut your own life points with Ra. You're not wrong. Ra was your weakness in this deck. And yes, obviously, pure Horus is going to be stronger than a Ra mix, than a God card mix. But you could still have fun and have a good deck at the same time. So I think Obelisk would present you less weaknesses. That being said, Obelisk is not searchable like Ancient Chan can search Ra. So maybe it wouldn't have the same synergy. But if you don't draw Obelisk, you just win with the horror stuff. Less fun, but still works. And the side effect of uh, Pharaonic Sarcophagus, fact, where you just send in, one in, of mine away, is in nuts. In fact, Silo, you could actually run lower numbers of the slime cards, I feel like. Yeah, I don't think you should run the slime cards in that deck, I'm going to be honest. Not the reactor slime, at least. He's in there, so you have more material for Obelisk. But your cards like being sent to the graveyard, because they come back next turn. So just use them for your material. So this is one of the reasons why I feel like Rom still might be the best choice for this. Okay. Because I can still use the Ancient Chant. Yeah, exactly. Ancient Chant, you get the search. 
Well, no, also it's second effect. If you tribute summon the Winged Dragon to Raw this turn, its original hmm. attack and defense become the combined attack of the attack of course. And defense. That's always the strength of him. So. So I'm. Eh, I have more life points this time. Alright. For 7,900. Not bad. Now the question is, can you negate my attack if I do it? Yeah, nope. you can. Yeah, you, you can trade it out for that. Well, other yeah, I don't, I don't die, but. But what I will do is pay a thousand life points. Oh yeah, that good old effect. Okay. What are you targeting? Oh, you're just targeting him outright. Smart. One less reactor slime or one less metal reflect slime to deal with. Oh man, that card's good too. Just wiping it all out, huh? Yep. Okay. That's a better use of your life points for sure. Yeah, I think yep. Ancient Chant has to be the way you get your raw. Uh, which, you know, three copies in a deck. I think in a mixed deck, you can get away with running like two copies of raw and just bank on searching him. Um, yeah, honestly. Anyway. Oh, I know, fun. I know you get another guy out, but at least I have a little wall here during your raw's attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to get hurt, but at least uh, Ra gets to suck up this. He gets to suck up Ra's attack. And would you look at that? Now you have three monsters on the field that I can soul exchange. All right. But do you have the obelisk, though? I have a draw. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get it. I was waiting. I was waiting. Yeah, uh, here's Mount of the Bound for you to help you out a little bit. Here, uh, here's Monster Reborn. You know, let's get a KP Senna out here. Oh, steal him. Put him on your side of the field. Grab the same guy. Yes, that's a great counter. I love it. This yeah, actually man. counter is also called by the grave. Actually, funny enough. So. Yeah. This is a field silo. <laughs> yep. Uh, here we go. And no satisfaction for you. I battle into Ra. Nah, I'll let you have it. <laughs> yeah, All no, right. that does it. <laughs> That's good. Were you were you hoping for something at the, at the end turn? I didn't even have Soul Exchange there. Like, I didn't have anything to beat you. This is very optimal, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. It's Wing so good because they all have such crazy attack points. So your ancient chant isn't just getting rid of, you know, tribute fodder. It's getting rid of power to put into your Ra. It's so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it can just bring back the materials right after, too. Yeah, like, you can legitimately run Ra semi-competitively now. Yeah. Is it going to be better than just base Horus? I don't know. Maybe not, but it gives you another dimension to add to Horus. Oh, that's the thing. This didn't really slow it down either. It did. I was getting I was getting all the cards I needed because the sarcophagus is very searchable. You only got three copies of sarcophagus anyway. You only got three copies of the searcher, so you're gonna have those in the deck. It's not like adding something else is gonna limit that. Mm-hmm. But if I do put in, if I mess with the deck, I think I'm gonna put back in the uh, what was it? The the searchers that I do for that I can search out the specific one monster to get the that can get me the sarcophagus. So it's a chain a little bit. Yeah, but. definitely. So there are ways to make this even more consistent. I'm pretty sure. Mhm. Mm no, I like it. And honestly, the build's not half bad. Just you know, a couple of pointers that I put out there. Um, you know, maybe two copies of Ra, three of Ancient Chant. You don't have to go too heavy on the Ra. Just if you get it, you get it. If you want to make a winning deck, that is. If you want to make a fun raw deck, is different. And we can add the other deck honestly, cards, too. Honestly, Zylo, there's also mm -hmm. one other benefit. Yes. Let's say I don't bring out raw, right? With the full life point strain and all that. Mm -hmm. And instead, I just bring him out like in, as a zero defense monster, right? Sure. But I use his burn effect to constantly clear out all your monsters out. It's still worth it. Yeah, it's still good. Um, it, I wish you could run Slifer in this deck. Yes, you do draw a lot with the trade-in combos, 
but it's not but really the strength discard. of the deck. Yeah, you discard, you, only you know, reason, summon from graveyard. It's not a slifer deck, unfortunately. The only thing I reason I would say to run it is if you're trying to lock down your opponent. Yeah, I mean, it's still a good card to put out there. It just doesn't benefit from the strengths of Horus, necessarily. It gives you the what, tributes you need. What we need now... but So, Obelisk got support. Raw got in the indirect support. Mm -hmm. Where's Slifer support? Slifer's just struggling for support out here, man. I don't know what to tell you. He's been struggling for support out here. New Obelisk support came in. New Raw support came in. Slifer's got nothing. He's got a spell card that he got. That's it. And I and I know the reason why. Someone said in the video, why doesn't Ross Slifer get support? Because if he was ever made competitive, he would be too. He's good. Act, his effect is actually viable in meta. If you were not, to use him effectively, it'd be very viable. Not only that, if he was made consistent, imagine not just bringing out one but two Slifers, and Absolutely. being able to just drop your opponent the second they bring out any monster. It, the fact that it says not even by normal. It says when you summon a monster. Yeah. And you know what a fun point is? What? Horus wouldn't go down to a Slifer field. <laughs> it would not. You have so much attack on all your special summon monsters. You'd be fine. Oh, and the zero attack monster too? When he pops out, he's already at zero. So there's no dropping him to zero. Yep. So then he gains the power. So Horus doesn't get stopped by Slifer. <laughs> Horus is great, man. I haven't played it yet, but I gotta... I gotta pull something off at some point here it looks so much fun hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you have make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one let us know what you think we should mix into horus just to have a good time and uh, we'll see you then see you folks